take time to be holy. Speak off with thy Lord. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him. Whatever be time, in joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit to fountains of love, thou shalt. Soon be fitted for service aboard. Jesus name, we pray. Supreme. 
intimacy of Jesus. Whom do you compare with him? We are now in the days of end time revival. We are in the days of the rapture. We are in the days of final exploit. We are in the days of final battle. And we must know this far. Which the church is forgetting. We must bring to remembrance the knowledge of the person of Jesus. We are living face to face with other religions. We must do the person that we live person called Jesus. We need it because they that know their God shall be strong and shall do exploit. You therefore need it. The knowledge of the Lord must come back to us. So we can have power to walk. Power to live. Power to move. Power to overcome. The knowledge of the law must come back to us. Why? He shall soon appear. That's why I'm talking to you. I'm lifting him up. Jesus said, and I, if I am lifted up, what shall happen? I will bring all men to me. If we want to evangelize the present world, if we want to bring the backsliding church back to the righteousness of God, we must know Jesus so as to exalt him. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 3, Hebrews chapter 3, Bible tells us, Hebrews chapter 3 verse 4 For every house Let's start from to verse 6 For this man was counted worthy of Moses He who had built the house had more honor than the house. For every house is built by some man. But he that built all things is God. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house. As a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. But Christ as a son of his own house, whose house we are, if we hold fast the confidence and the choice of the hope firm unto the Yes. Here in these verses, we see Jesus being described. He is described as a man. He is described as God. He is described as a builder. He is described as the son. Of this picture gives this title, these descriptions to Jesus. He was compared to Moses. Compared and contrasted. Look at it. 
Moses was told to be, was said to be faithful. Over his house, the house of God, as a servant, as a servant, but is this man, Jesus, was counted worthy of more glory than Moses. Moses was the most respected name in Israel. The one that had the highest of the Bible, the law, called Moses. So, that carried authority. The writer of Hebrews wanted the people to know Jesus. Just as you will know him better today. He was born a man because he was born as a man. He was born as a man. But he was called the builder of the house. Moses was called the house. And Jesus, the builder of the house. Moses was the house. And Jesus, the builder of the house. Moses was the creator. And Jesus was the creator of Moses. That's what you need to know. Then it says, for every house is built by some man. Every house in this city, if it is a house, even if it is broken down, and you can see some remains, a man sometimes built it. Every house, however beautiful, however beautiful, it's built by a man. And the Bible says, But he that built all things is God. He built Moses. Who is he? Who is he that built Moses? God. Jesus is God. More than Moses. Everything he that built all things in the universe is God, and that God is Jesus. That God, and Moses verily was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. But Christ is a song. You can see the man, God, Christ, song. All refers to one person. We are going to. But Christ, as a son over his own house. A son over his own house. Moses, a servant over God's house. Christ, a son over his own house. The son is God. The son of God means God. That's the scripture. His house. He was the God that built all things. And he is Son here. How? You will understand. He is the son that built his own house. He is faithful over his own house. And the Bible says, But as Christ, but Christ as a son over his own house, whose house are we? Can you understand?
Start it again. The house was Moses. The builder of the of that house was God. Now, house are we that have believed in Christ? That's talking about creation, recreation in Christ Jesus. He recreated us. We are His. We are doubly His own. His own on the side. In the case of Moses, created over Moses, created over every man. All things now is all we that have been saved, he that have been recreated, Jesus. And if uh, he attaches this, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope, firm unto the end, which we born again people, we are doubly God's own portion, his own portion by creation. His own portion by recreation in Christ. Born again salvation. Doubly his own. That's what we need to know. Jesus is superior to every man and every creature. He is superior to man. Greater than man in as much as he is the creator of man. All men everywhere, of all religion, of all races, of all races, every kind, everywhere, Jesus created him, created them. Jesus was the one that met them. The man that is down now, Jesus created him. The woman that is sitting down now, Jesus created her. The man that is standing up. Men and women everywhere of every nation, Jesus created them. He's greater than them, in as much as the builder of the house is greater than the house. He's superior. He is superior to all things, to all men. He is greater than the angels. They are created to serve him. Jesus is greater than the angels. But he created the of him to serve his purpose. It's like man, man made some things on earth. The motor, the motor vehicle. Man built a house to service him. So Jesus created the angels to serve him. And the angels are higher than me. They are higher. They are greater. More glory, more glorious. Very powerful. Jesus created them to serve him. Yes. He is greater than Satan. He was the one that cast him away from heaven. He was the one that drove Satan. He dismissed Satan from his job. He terminated Satan. Dismissed him. Drove him out from heaven. Satan failed his own purpose. Satan rebelled against him. Satan was a stubborn child. Therefore, he kicked him out of heaven. Satan was an angel that he created. Satan was an angel that Jesus created to serve his purpose. He won, he gave the ability to praise, to lead people in, lead angels in praise. But a time came that Satan became proud. How did that happen? It's a mystery when we go to some better. He kicked him down. So, you don't compare a servant with his master. To compare Satan with Jesus, great mistake, because you're comparing a servant with his master. With his master. It's, an, it's a shame. To ask a child, to ask him the child, 
uh, you and your father, who is older? If you are going to be comparing the power of the devil to the power of Jesus, what an embarrassment, God. What an embarrassment to be comparing the power of Satan to the power of Jesus. You are embarrassing God. It's like you are asking a man, you and your son, who is older? What an embarrassment to that man. You can't, the notes that you can't compare, compare him with Jesus. I say, this knowledge is essential for end time exploits. It is required in end time revival. It is required in battle. He is greater than all prophets. Why? He is the God that sent them. And the God that will judge the false ones. Greater than all preachers. Greater than my soul. Greater than preachers that are greater than my soul. Why? He's the God that inspires us. He's the God that sends us. He's the God that puts his word in our mouth. Therefore, you don't compare a preacher with Jesus. He is greater than the prophets. Every prophet. Moses as a prophet. Elijah as a prophet. Whatever kind of prophet. John the Baptist. Whatever. He is greater than them. Because the prophecy that they need is a fraction. But we know in part. And we prophesy in part. But he is the full world. Himself is the full world. Therefore, you don't compare any prophet to him. You don't compare any prophet of any religion to him. Any prophet. He is the one that will touch them. He didn't send them. This did run and I didn't send them. The prophets prophesied lies in my name. And I didn't send them. He is the one that will judge them. He is the one that condemns them to hell. He is superior. Jesus is superior. He that seated in the cycle of heaven. He is above men. He is above angels. He is above thrones. He is above kings. He is the king of kings. He is the lord of lords. He is the master of the universe. That is Jesus. Shout that name. Shout that name. Glorify that name. That's the Lord, you, that's the God you serve. That's the Savior of your life. That's the one that has taken over your case. That's the one that is telling you be at peace. I'm going to handle your matter. That's the one that said, fear thou not. Hallelujah. Yay. His superiority, or rather, his supremacy, is demonstrated in the following area. God in his humanity. Because the Bible says, for this man, that is God man. In case they call him man, and you begin to compare yourself with him, you begin to compare any man with him, you begin to compare any authority with him. I will tell you, he is man, but his humanity is different. His so humanity is different. In the book of Luke chapter 2. Luke. I read chapter 2. From verse 6. And so it was, that while they were there, 
the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son. Can you see him? Son. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch of a flock by now. She brought forth her first son, a human being, the humanity of Jesus. Unto us a child is born. Look at him there. Human being. But don't see the child and compare him with your child. Don't see the child and compare him with the child of any, any person in the youth. Because he's different. He's superior. That child is a superior child. No child has been like him. No child can be like him because he's different. The shepherds now announce that the announcement of the shepherd in verse 9. The angel announced him to the shepherd. Verse 9. And lo, the angel of the Lord came up upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them and they were so afraid and the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all the people together who go. For unto you is born this day in the city a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. I'm telling you that he's a different person. The angels have come and differentiated him. The angel had come and differentiated him. The angel said, You, today, a child is born. But, oh, wonderful. That child is the God of the universe. He is the master of the universe. He is the master that has given being to us. That created us. Gave being to our lives. And the rules in the universe. He is the, is the law. He is the law. For this is done. That the scripture might be fulfilled that says. A virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son. And they shall call his name Emmanuel. But it means, it means the creator. Deal carefully. Was because that is the creator, the maker of the universe, the eternal law. Don't stumble over him. Don't stumble over him. He is in human form, but it's different from you. It's different from your child. That is God. He came to pass through, and that which he designed for man, he tried, he came to test it. How a person can come into the world and be a child, he followed the process. But not by, by man meeting a woman. No! If a woman had to meet with man, it would be, he would be absolutely mad. Having a damn nature in him. Having a damn property in him. But he did, it was part of him with a woman. No! The woman as the door to the earth. He all oh, the law. You know, do you remember how Thomas addressed him? When he Thomas, he told Thomas, You have not believed. Okay, look at my hands. See my hands. Come closer and <clears throat> and trust your heart, your hand, your finger into my side. What did Thomas say? What did Thomas say? Oh, and my God, that is He. He is your God. He is God. He over the earth. He's 
brought over humanity. So that the very God gave the universe. That is it. Unto us a child is born. That is it. You can now see his humanity. Now, Hebrews gave us various titles about him. It says, for this man, talking about Jesus. Then he said, for he that created all that, that built all things is God. This man is God. Then he said, he was faithful a son over his own house. Over his own house. Could Mary, could Mary have called him his son. Because born of a title son is completely earthly. It's because everybody that is on earth is a son, is a daughter. That's why he is a son. But whose son? The son of God. Otherwise, that's the very God. In humanity, he's a son. Outside humanity, God. Worship him. In the book of John chapter 1. John chapter 1 verse 1. To verse 3. In the beginning was the world. And the world was with God. And the world was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. And without him was nothing made that was made. Have you got it now? That's God. He's no man. Here, he is not the son. Because we're talking about the eternal existence. He is the world. He is the world. He is the world that is one with the Father. One with the Holy Ghost. For God has said let us make man in our image. What? What is three parts in him? The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. Separate personalities, making up one God. Man made in the image of God. Man is one person. Three personalities. The body, the soul, and the spirit. And three are one. But angels are not like that. Angels are only spirit. That's why man is made in the image. Angels are not. So, standing eternity, he is the world. Not the son. For three, the bear record in heaven. The father, the world, and the spirit. And these three are one. So, one in a sense, who is speaking now? How many people are speaking to you now? One person, which is myself. I say myself, but actually we are three. Hallelujah. Actually we are three. The body, the soul, the spirit. So, you can ask, verse 14, and the world was made flesh. He dwelt us and beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. The world in flesh and dwelt among us. The mystery of becoming flesh is not known to us, but a child was born. That is became flesh. Became a human being as we are. But he's the world, the eternal world. God became flesh and dwelt among us and dwelt among us we saw him that his life was superior his life was a superior life all men put into this world are born sinners but he was not born sinner he came righteous we saw him we looked at him he was the perfect life perfect for God is, is perfect. 
God is perfect. See the scripture says also in verse 10 to 12. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. Can you understand it? Jesus was in the world for 33 and a half years. That man is God. But many are not aware. And the Bible says, great is the mystery of God. That God was manifest in human flesh and preached among me and believed and believed among me. God! God! A human being became a subject of preaching. It is the wisdom of God that puts eternal life a preaching that through the preaching of the gospel that I am doing now, that people, some people can't believe. It is the way of eternal life by which God can select people that can live with Him forever. That to select people that will live with Him forever. He was in the world. The world was made by Him, but the world knew Him. Are you aware of Jesus? Creator? Are you connected with your creator? Do you know Jesus is your creator? What religion do you belong to? Where are you lost in such a religion of false city? False food? Because there is no religion but Jesus. There is no savior but Jesus. No other name but Jesus. There is no way. You, of course, you say you are in Christianity. Uh, have you known him? Have you come, at, you come in contact with him? Have you accepted him through preaching? Have you believed in God? Are you speaking carelessly against him, creator? Are you persecuting his own people? Are you laughing at his own holiness? Are you challenging him? Challenging his people? What his world? Diluting his world? But that's your God. That's the God that made the mountains. That's the God that made the stars of the sky. That's the God that made the one that is talking to you now. The world became flesh. He was in the world. The world was made. The world knew him not. The world knew him not up to this day. And he's returning already. He is returning already. And the world is in darkness. And you are in darkness. You are lost in some religion. You are lost in some things. Lost in secret society. Lost in witchcraft. All your beast, your mind is to fight the cause of Christ. War unto you. I said war unto you. That's what we need to understand. You're committing immorality against him. You're going about stealing, disobeying God, Creator, disobeying Him. You're going about doing every matter, man of evil in the world that God made. And His voice rings. His Bible is given to you. You disdain it. Remember, he's the greatest judge. I'll come to that, to that. But the Bible says, in verse 11, He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many, to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. As many as received him, why wouldn't you receive your God? Why would you, wouldn't you receive your Creator if you die? Where will you go? How will you face the judgment? Because there's none else. It's like that Muslim boy that died and went and discovered that Jesus was that God. He was that Allah. I mean, the true Allah that is that created heaven and the earth. He went to say Allah is Allah for God. 
Jesus said, no. That Allah that you were worshipping on the earth, I'm not here. I'm not one. And this is the creator that came in human flesh. Is because of his simplicity. Is because of the simplicity that is in Christ. Is because of the meekness of Jesus. Because of the kindness of Jesus. Because of the mercy of Jesus. Man plays over his, his intelligence. You play over him. Because he's a quiet person. You play over him. The one that the devil hears and trembles. The, 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 the state of Satan has been determined. The judgment determined. And he cannot change it anymore. He knows how terrible God is. For Jesus is an angry God. And when he rises up in anger, you melt up forever. Are you playing with him? You have not believed in him up to today. You have not repented of your sins up to today. Up to today. You are doing evil up to today. You block your ears. You carry your ears to, to, to which type of people? Block it. Look to hear about Jesus. You will perish. For he that believeth not shall perish. Shall be damned. Damned everlastingly. It's dangerous not to accept Jesus. It's dangerous not to believe in Jesus. He gave it to, your, to you to take it freely. Use your will because of his will. Because of Just take it freely. Just take it or not take it. Wisdom. The highest wisdom. The Yeah, I told you he displayed his superiority by his humanity. Can he sit down the same thing with the same with anybody? Is Jesus the same with your brother? Is he the same with your father? Is he the same with your uncle? Or the same with any one of your children? Born like him? Or the same with you? He is superior to all. Everybody says he is superior. Give him his honor. Give him his respect. Give him his worship. Hey, his superiority is displayed by his world. His world. In the book of John, chapter 6, verse 63. The Bible, it's the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are love. Words of Jesus, they are love. The words of Jesus create love because he's the creator. The ways of Jesus give eternal life. The ways of Jesus carry creative power. Recreative power. That we born again by the word of God. By that world, you become changed. Change. Authority is in that world. Authority is in that world. In the work of a king, there is power. And in the work of the king, kings, I don't know how many times we multiply the power of the king on earth. That's the work of Jesus. Look at it in the book of Matthew. Chapter 8. Matthew 8. The star. The star. And when Jesus was entered in, there came unto him as a centurion, besieging him, and saying, Oh, my servant lieth at whom seek of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am a man, I, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. 
For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, Go, and he goeth. And to another man, Come, and he cometh. And to, and to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus had it, he mother, And said unto them that followed, Verily, I, I say unto you, I have not found great faith. No, not in and in verse 13, said unto the centurion, Go there with me, and as thou hast believed, so be it done. In the same hour, word of authority, the Creator God. Let there be, and there was, hey, this is marvel. In the beginning, the Bible says God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of the Lord moved upon the waters. And the Lord said, Let there be! And there was. That's Jesus. That Jesus revived to his authority upon your life. Revived to authority over mankind. Revive to his authority over the enemy for his speaks and his deeds. Who again is like him that has the final say? Who has the final say? That's it. Revive to his, to his authority in the universe. To his authority in heaven and the earth. Revive to it. Then you will fear no man. You will fear no man. You will fear no devil. Because he has authority. Is this man discovered it? He said, I am a man under authority. Because this is my profession. I can pick something about you there. Because I see you are a man under authority. You are, you are a man of authority. The highest authority. The highest authority. Jesus said, If a man does not believe in me, I judge him not. But the words that I speak, he should judge him. That is the final authority. The word of judgment. The word of judgment. As God was released over Satan. When Jesus released that word, over Satan. When Satan say, I will climb up to the mountains, to the sides of the mount, and be like the Most High. And Jesus released this world. He released that world upon the devil. The world caused Satan. I'm telling you, that word twisted Satan. Satan didn't have tell before. That word produced tell in the boat. I'm telling you, Satan didn't have horns before. That word of authority caused horns to come out from the body of Satan. That word of authority twisted the demons and twisted them and become shepherds. Hallelujah! What's the final say? Who has the final say? Jesus. Exactly. You say it well. You say it well. You say it well. When the devil says in Isaiah chapter 14 verse 12, the devil says, how, I mean, everyone was saying, how are thou falling from heaven or Lucifer? Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nation? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation, in the sides of the north. I will ascend up the highs. 
and it will be like most hard. Jesus released a voice. Jesus spoke a word. I'm telling you the universe shook. Jesus spoke a word. Satan and demons lost their place. They didn't know how they disappeared from heaven. Look at the way Jesus spoke. And I, like, I think you will want to speak those same words. I say you will want to speak those same words. You are going to speak those words to the devil again. Damage shall happen to Satan tonight. We are going to speak those words to the devil. We are going to speak those words to forces of darkness. We are going to speak those words to agents of darkness. And I'm telling you the kingdom shall collapse. In the name of Jesus. Verse 15, are you there? 15, are you there? Now, verse 15 and verse 14. Or verse 16. One, two, three, go. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man? That made the earth to tremble. That did shake kingdom. Hey! When those ways were released, Satan lost senses. Satan didn't know where he was. The word caused the devil to disappear into, he didn't know where he was. Up to this time he has not recovered. And he shall never recover. Hallelujah! I'm talking about the final authority. We speak with the weight of him that has the final authority. For I give unto you power. I give unto you the word of power. I give unto you the spirit of power. Yes, not by your power, not by your mind. By my spirit, see the Lord. You are going to do exploit in this end time. Yeah. By the power of the Lord Jesus, you are going to defeat demons in this end time. Yeah. By the word of Jesus that has life, you are going to bring revival to the world. Yeah. Revival to the world. Yeah. The people shall resurrect. Dry yeah. bones shall resurrect. Shall live again by the power that he has given to you. Yes. Yeah. He demonstrated it by his power. Speak the word only. The sickness that is in my servant shall live. You day you are living. Speak the word only. The demon that is torturing my servant shall live. You Demons, you are living today. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus demonstrated this, his superiority by his word. Who again can speak like this? I have the power to lay down my life and I have power to raise it up again. That is him. Power belongs to him. Power belongs to him. And he said, I give unto you power. Can you receive this power? He said, I give it unto you. Receive! 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 It's like that in your life. You will speak with a difference. You will command and your command shall be obeyed. Ye shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. Fear thou not, I am with you. Don't be afraid, I am with you. Be not dismayed, I am your God. I will help you. Yes, I will strengthen thee. Yes, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. All those people that surround you. All those powers that surround you. The Lord himself is saying, 
you will turn back and you won't see them again. Amen! We must arise to His power. We must away to His power, to His authority in the universe. For His world is the world of power. His world is the world of power. That's Jesus. He that hears me and believes, he that hears my word and believes in him that sent me has passed from date unto life. That world has changed you. That world has saved you. That world has sanctified you. Now, ye are clean through the word that I've spoken unto you. You are clean. The world has in the world has set you free. The name of Jesus. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Until heaven and earth shall pass, no job or title shall pass from my word. My word shall not pass. My word shall not pass. If my, if ye abide in me, and my word abide in you, ye shall ask whatsoever ye will, and it shall be done unto you. It's the word, high word, great word, word that gives, that opens our eyes, gives us revelation, gives understanding. Through that precept, I am made wiser than my enemies. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, the, fight, the one we are going to talk about now, he displayed his superiority through his name. Through his name. The Bible tells us in Acts of Apostles, Acts 4 verse 12, Chapter 12, I mean chapter 4, verse 12, it says, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men. Whereby we must be saved. Superior name. Call that name. Call that name. Call that name. It was said of T.L. Osborne. That he went to India for crusade and among preaching among the Hindus and the people believed in their gods that Hindus could do anything for them. A repetition of the prophets of fear. He preached Jesus unto them. Ma, so they in his heart that he does not know his creator. Day, he was going to demonstrate the power of Jesus to them. To tell them that Jesus was superior to Hindus. Jesus was superior to any other name. God is superior to any man. He is superior to any spirit. So, he wanted to demonstrate that. Told them, like Elijah told the prophets, let them bring two, two cars. And you take one and sacrifice, cut it into pieces. Lay it upon the altar and pray to Baal. If Baal, the actual God that you should serve, let him bring fire upon the sacrifice. You're not going to put fire on that. Let him bring fire upon the sacrifice. And the people accepted. You know, I'm telling you that it is. The people accepted. And then they cut this 
animals in pieces, in sacrifice to their native altar, their own altar, and then began to pray. Bear bring fire. Bear, don't don't join me. They began preaching because there's no bear that will bring fire. Amen. Bear bring fire. Bear bring fire. Fire, fire. But some of them jump upon the altar and be rolling the fire, 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 fire. Others took knives to cut themselves. Blood was coming. Fire, fire. Elijah looked at them. How mad, how unreasonable are some people in this world? You think that there's bear somewhere that is going to bring fire? Okay. Alright. It's likely he's in a conversation and he's not hearing you now. Cry it aloud. Fire. Okay. It's likely he has begun a journey. You need to shout to bring him back. These people are just even this demon possessed him. Fear, fear. I said really he was going. Elijah discovered that he became the one to, turning these people around again. So which means you don't have any direction. Praise the Lord. They did all those things, nothing came out. He did cut his animal in pieces and sacrificed to the living God, laid it in the earth. I'm going to show you the difference. I'm going to show you that Jesus is different. Jesus is superior. The God we serve is different. The God we serve is superior. He said, pour water on it. They poured water on the sacrifice. Everybody was opening his mouth. Ah! How would the fire come? Forget it. The fire is not coming from the earth. I said, pour fire again the second time. Pour it the third time until water was flowing on the sacrifice. Fine. Now, he went to God and said, hear me now, O Lord. I'm not this up. Let these people know that all I am doing now is according to your word. Answer, O Lord. That these people mean today that you have turned the heart of Israel back to yourself. And that thou and thou only are the God who serve. Immediately Elijah prayed. Elijah prayed. He said after one minute, fire fell from heaven. I said fire fell from heaven. Fire fell from heaven. God is in heaven. Our God is in heaven. Our God is in heaven. He visited the earth and went back to heaven. He is in the right hand side of the Father. For I and my Father, we are one. Yes! That is how the people bow. The Lord, He is the God. The Lord, He is the God. End time revival. If you want this end time revival, Stand up to demonstrate the power that's in the name of Jesus. Now, sit down. I'm telling you. I've not finished my story. Then, Dear Osborne, now told these people in India, I am, going to, I am going to throw water up to the sky. Call the name of Hindus and ask that water not to fall down. Let the water remain suspended in the sky. I will believe with you that Hindus is God. If it doesn't happen, I am going to show you that there is one superior to him. You will throw water into the sky and I will ask the water to be there of Jesus. You say, yes, you can do it. Same people. In the dear husband, throw water up to the sky. The Hindus, 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 Hindus. The water didn't hear. Who is Hindu? Where is he? All the water with the remaining particles fell down. It has finished. Let's see about Jesus. To know whether he is ah. To know he's different. Everybody say, my Jesus is different. Jesus. Say it again! Say it again! 
So, it was their turn. They threw water up to the sky. And the man of God said, I command you water. By the name of Jesus, remain suspended. Water remains suspended in the atmosphere. Hallelujah! You can touch water in the atmosphere. You can wash your hand. You can just raise up your hand and wash your hand. Water will remain there. Even the particle that you wash your hand will not fall down. Because Jesus has told them to remain there. Amen! Amen. The things that Jesus will decree to change in your life today shall change. His word is final. Waters hear him because he created the water. Everything hears his voice. Everything he made hears his voice. He spoke to the well, to, to, to the world in the water. Is that so? What did he do to Jonah? He vomited out Jonah. Go and speak to the fish. Let's do what I to hear you. But Jesus will speak and to her. He spoke to the ravens. They brought food to Elijah. Jesus can speak to anything and it will respond. It will respond. I say it will respond. You just believe in the Lord Jesus. I said believe in the Lord Jesus. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah chapter 9. Isaiah chapter 9. I read verse 6. Here, the scripture says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. The government will be upon his shoulder. You are going to tell me the power that is in that name. You are going to tell me the components that are in You are going to tell me the authority you are going to tell me the composition of his name. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. All about that is in that name. The authority of God. The wisdom of God. The power of God. Everything is in that name. It is in that name. It is in that name, and whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved, because the power of God is in that name. The authority of the Father, the, the Father of all living, the authority of the mighty God that created heaven and the earth is in that name. And he, left, he gave us that name. He gave it to you. He gave it to me. He gave it to all. Therefore, as we shall call that name here, I'm telling you the power of God shall be moving here. As we shall call that name, sicknesses and diseases shall disappear. As we call that name, even sin in your life, you won't see your sins again. You will not see your sins again. By calling that name, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. Now, um, now you want to fight? Are you ready to fight today? Are there some forces around you? Very simple. I tell you how you would do it. In the book of Psalm. Psalm 118. Psalm 1. 1. A, the Bible tells us, power that is in this name, in verse 10 to verse 12, all nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They compass me about, yes. Yeah. They compass me about, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They compass me about like bees. They have 
the fire of tongues. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. You will read that scripture. And assure yourself, because they're going to do it today. Who will destroy them? By what? The matter has settled. These ones are afraid wherever they are now. Because the name of the Lord will be issued here to now. The name of the Lord shall be issued here to now. Read it again from the stage. One, two, go. Bible says, Wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above all names, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven, of things on earth, and of things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Everybody say, Jesus is Lord. 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 The one time, the seventh time, you will declare that before you stand up. Then you will tread upon serpents and scorpions. You will declare that and say, "Where are you, devil? Where, where, where are you standing? Where, where, where are you? I'm, I'm, I'm around now. I am around now. Are you ready? One more time, and you will stand up and do exploit." One more time, just sit down. One more, you are going to declare before you stand up. One more time, you will confess that with all boldness, with all assurance, and cause your body to quake. Cause every atom, the nucleus of your body shall answer it. And say, what you say, I consent. What you say, I surrender to it. What you say, the hair of your body, of your head, shall pick, shall stand up. Your hair shall stand upright in total rapture to him, in total yieldedness to him. Everything in your body shall believe on Jesus. Everything in your heart shall surrender to Jesus. Everything, yes, the blood, your blood that are flowing in you, that blood shall pour forth for Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Can you stretch for that right hand? Stretch for that right hand that is going to make the declaration of life, the declaration of revival, the declaration of victory. Jesus is Lord! Jesus is Lord! Rise up upon your feet. You have it. You have it. The Lord is with you. Jesus is your Lord. The Lord of heaven and the earth. The Lord of the universe. The Lord of the universe. The Lord of the universe. The creator of heaven and earth. He is Jesus. He is Jesus. He is Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 He is Jesus. The creator of the universe. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to him. Worship him. Worship him. Hey. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He is our God. He is our God. He is our Lord. He is our Savior. He is our Creator. He is our Savior. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. He resurrected. I have power to, to lay down my life. I have power to raise to it up again. That is... 
forever you are gold forever and ever you are gold forever and ever you are gold you are gold you are gold you are gold you are the creator you are the creator the great i am the great i am i am who i am that i am that is jesus that is jesus that is jesus the one that gave been to our life we worship oh lord be praised oh oh lord let the kingdom collapse let the kingdom collapse let the nations pass let the nations bow. Let all come confess. Let all come confess that you are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. authority he has given you power to tread upon serpents to tread upon scorpions and over all the power of the enemy nothing shall by enemies hurt you the word of god is the word of power in the word of the king there is power in the word of the king there is authority the authority of god is in, is in his word believe you shall be saved believe you deliver believe you shall be liberated jesus is the mighty god oh jesus is the mighty god i say jesus is the mighty god Heaven and it bows before him. Heaven and it bows before him. Even Satan bows before him. Jesus is the mighty God. I say, Jesus is the mighty God. I say, Jesus is the mighty God. Heaven and it bows before him. Angel bows before him. Angel Gabriel bows before him. I say, Jesus is the mighty God. I say, Jesus is the mighty God. Jesus is the mighty God. Heaven and it bows before him. Heaven and it bows before him. Living creature bow before him. Every creature bow before him. That is Jesus. That is Jesus. That is Jesus. He is Jesus. Revive to his authority. Revive to his power. Revive to his supremacy. snatch you out of my hand my father who gave up you to me is greater than all no man shall snatch them out of my father's hand 
I and my father, we are one. belongs to Jesus. Receive the power of Jesus. Receive the power of Jesus. I give unto you power. I give unto you power. God says you should receive power. celebrate our God. Today we shall celebrate Jesus. 
idol worshippers could celebrate their own idols. They could be calling the name of their own idols and shouting everywhere. We will call the name of the Lord our God. Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Celebration. We are going to celebrate that name. Are you ready? For the space of five minutes. I'll be checking my time. It is only the name of Jesus that shall be reigning. For the space of five minutes, the clouds shall be, shall be covered with the name of Jesus. The whole city, the waters of the land, the air shall carry to neighboring cities. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The demons said they will be chucked out. By the name of Jesus. I say they shall be slain down. Yeah. Wherever the sicknesses are, they shall be crushed. Yeah. I say they shall be crushed. Yeah. Whatever is whatever, mountain shall fall. Yeah. The walls of Jericho shall fall. Yeah. Oh, we celebrate that name. Are you ready? Yeah. Jesus! Jesus! Jesus!
Worship him. Begin to praise him. You have known him now. You have known him now. Begin to bless his name. You have known him now. Received him. To them, he gives power to become the sons of God. Even to those that believe in his name, you will receive him now. You are here, you are still a sinner. Clearly, clearly, not that you are doubting, are you a Christian? No, no but clearly you know you are a sinner. You will receive him now. Just rest up your hand where you are. You will receive him now. He is the Lord of your life. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, that He is your Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. Tomorrow we will remove this chair, this front seat, to make space for some to come up. But today, just confess Jesus. Tell Him your sins and ask Him to forgive you. Where you are standing, confess your sins to Him. Tell him you are a sinner and that you want him to forgive you. You want him to forgive you. You want Jesus to forgive you. Tell him so. Tell him so. Invite him into your heart. Tell him to take over your heart. Tell him to take over your heart. He will serve you. He will deliver you. He will forgive you. Jesus is the Lord of your life. Jesus is the Lord of your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Re repeat these songs with me. Into my heart. Into my heart. Come into my heart. Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay, come in to my heart, Lord Jesus. Ask him to come in. Come in. Sing it with all seriousness. One more time, one more time.
Jesus is passing this way. Miracle must be your own. Rise up. I am serving the God of miracles. I know. Yes, I. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. I'm serving the God of miracles. I know. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Serving the God of miracles. I know. Yes, I know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And we had called him his 12 disciples, he gave them power over um, against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Now, he has given me power. He has given you power. He has given us power over unclean spirits. Wherever demons are, they are living tonight. Are you ready? Are you ready? Close your eyes. And tell the Lord, whether it's spirit of witchcraft, or cultic spirit, or tormenting you, dreams, any spirit, spirit husband, spirit wife, judgment will come out tonight. The power of God will break their power in your life tonight. Put your mouth and pray. hands before the Lord. Almighty Father, it is according to your word. You have given unto me, unto us, your children, power over unclean spirits to cast them out. Jesus, you declare, this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devils. Right now, wherever there are devils, in a man, in a woman, in little children, in the child, in the bar, I command by the word of the Lord, come out! Come out! By the fire of the Most High, you spirit husband, you spirit wife, I bind you in the land. In the name of Jesus. All power of witchcraft, power, whatever manipulation.
operation of the power. You are operating inside, you are operating outside. Let judgment to say. All those power crumble in the name of Jesus. Anyone bound by the devil, bound in marriage, bound against childbearing, bound against progress, bound in family, bound in business, in whichever way that he shall not make progress. I lose you today in the name of Jesus. You demons fly away. You demons fly away in the name of Jesus. I say get out in the name of Jesus. of Jesus. Be free. You man, I set you free. In the name of Jesus. Every manner of infirmity, every manner of insanity, of epilepsy, of convulsion, I command
open your eyes and see. In the name of Jesus. Every man of pain in your body is going away. Chest pain, back pain, ear pain, foot pain, bone pain, stomach pain. Every pain is disappearing. It's God that's doing it himself. Just lay hand upon your body. Every pain is going. Pain in the intestine. Pain in the kidney. Pain in the liver. Pain in the pain. The God of heaven is taking it away. Mighty Father. Let healing from heaven. Come upon this ones. Come upon this ones. Command you stomach problem, get out. Amen. Stomach ulcer, get out. Amen. I say get out. Amen. I say get out. Amen. And tree. Disappear from that poor stomach. In the name of Jesus. Every heart attack. By the power of Jesus. I command that heart attack to cease. Amen. The hole in the heart disappear. Amen. The enlargement of the heart cut down to no. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every ear pain. I command healing into it. Death this of the ear. Partial here, partial deafness. I command you ear. That block that ear. Come out. In the name of Jesus. I say come out. The pulse in the ear disappear. Be healed. Your teeth ache, tooth ache disappear. Lay your teeth Recover by the authority of Jesus. But if I speak to you by the word of God, disappear. Every pain in the womb, in the intestine, inside, outside, including headache, I said vanish. Go away. In the name of Jesus. Every man of fever, malaria fever, died. even the ones inspired by devils, come out! Come out! In the name of Jesus! Almighty God, I lose miracles. Miracles you fall. Miracles you fall. Pile in the annals, vanish away. Every age vanish away. Diabetes in the blood vanish away. Hypertension in your blood vanish away. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every swollen thing in your body. Every swollen thing in your body. Cancer in your body. Yes. Any appendix. High near. Fibroid. Come out. Come out. Come out. Jesus name. Any man of sickness. Any man of disease. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. I set you free. Be free. Everybody shake yourself. I say shake yourself. I say be chill. In Jesus name. Be delivered. Your yoke are broken. You are set free. It is done. The angels of God are ministering healing. 
They're ministering healing. They're delivering you now. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah! You are healed. Check up yourself, it is done. Tomorrow, come early, we want to listen to your testimony. Remember, Jesus is God. Jesus is who? And we pray for you in the name of who? We release the power of God upon your life. You are healed. You are healed. You are here for profit. You are delivered. In the name of Jesus! He says you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production, and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages, or inquiry, contact us on 0813-635-6813 and 0805-683-4323 You can also reach us through our email address HolinessRevivalMovement at gmail.com God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in You. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you, you are the living Savior, I believe in you, you are my Lord and Savior, I believe
believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe in you. I love you. I love you. I believe. I believe.